working! Hey, what up guys, it's James here, and today we are reviewing the Renfo air filter. If you guys saw my first air filter review with Tim from Cigars Daily, you know I'm super passionate about products like this. So let's get into more details. So here's what I'm smoking, a De Siena cigar with some Lafroig, and here is the air filter. As you can see, it's a Renfo. It kind of looks like a giant Apple AirPod to me. Delivers more than 24 hours of battery life. And we have a nice simple, uh, control panel up here. And I, I really like this because it's quite small and I can just pick it up right here and take it anywhere I want. You can see it's easy to touch controls. You get the power button. You have three different speeds. One, two, three. Right here is the auto. So basically when I, when I put in an auto, here's the air sensor on the side. So when I put on auto, it just kind of measures the air. And you can see right now it's, it's blue. Right now it's sensing the air, trying to figure out how dirty it is. If it's red, it's dirty. Yellow is sort of dirty. And uh, blue means it's clean air. Here you can do a timer for two, four, or eight hours. You can lock it for like child safety locks. And here's the air quality button. I always leave that on. So at a glance, I can look at it and say, okay, this is yellow. So it's sort of dirty. It's filtering. Over here, it shows you what filter needs to be replaced. Oh, see, it just kicked on. So the cigar, the smoke is getting sucked into it and it goes out the back, back here. So right now you can see it's, it turned on high because it sensed the cigar was by it. So this is kind of nice because uh, really I can just leave it on auto and it just goes. This is also great because down here, I'm roasting coffee. And um, so this coffee, the smells are not that pleasant. So it shoots up here and gets sucked into this side. So this is kind of like my setup when I'm smoking cigars, roasting coffee. Um, it's it's kind of nice because I'm in my garage right now. This probably helps another 50%. So, um, and this, this device is actually for um, 300 square feet. So it's about the size of a garage, I guess you could say. And um, it seems to be working pretty well. The only thing I don't like is the, the panel on here. It feels kind of, this kind of feels plasticky to me. Uh, but again, when you compare this to the rabbit air that I reviewed with Tim, uh, it's like a third of the price. So I can't really complain too much. And again, this is a full HEPA filter and uh, it also has a charcoal filter for the smoke. So I just took the front panel off. I wanna show you guys real quick how this actually works. It's pretty straightforward, but here's like a, a basic a sort of cat fur or, or dog fur um, filter. Take that off. And here is a, a, Velcro, a Velcro down piece of material. And it's almost like, um, like felt almost. So that's great as well for, fil for filtering dog hair and bigger particles. If you can see closer, this is the activated charcoal filter. So this is actually great for uh, smoke and things like that. And you peel that up from the tab right here. And so it's a perfect seal all around. You wanna make sure it's sealed properly. And so yeah, this is where the smoke actually attaches to. Behind that, here is the HEPA filter. And you can see it's nice and tight, nice and snug fit. And so that's exactly what it looks like. You wanna, you wanna have the tabs on the outside so that way you can pull it out. And inside here is just the fan that shoots it in and straight up. This filter right here is actually my least favorite part because it's very bendy. I can see this, I can see this filter breaking and putting it in is actually a little bit of a hassle. You kinda, you kinda have to jiggle it around a little bit. So the moment of truth is, does it work for cigar smoking? It does, but you have to be really close to it. So or normally I'm, I'm like around here and you can see the smoke getting sucked up in. So really, it, it's, it's not a super strong fan, but it does the job in a small uh, in a small room. And so I would say just stay within about this far away from it and it's gonna work really, really well. Down here with my coffee roaster, it's perfect. I've noticed that it sucks up a lot of the, the smells from here up into here. So that is it for the Renfo air filter. As you can see, it's a very nice small device. It's around $160. Check the link below to get one. And I would say just keep your expectations a little bit lower with this because it isn't very big. So this is great for one person, but maybe not for 10 guys in a smoking lounge. Um, but the Rabbit Air we reviewed was around $600. So this is a fraction of the price and it's definitely not, you know, a fraction of the quality. I would say maybe it's half as strong, but it's still a great little device. And you can see the link below. There's also a 12 month warranty and I'm pretty sure you can get their filters there as well. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Peace.
<laughs> oh my God, it's working. <laughs> the Rabbit Air with Tim. I love, air filter. Right here you can see, ah, 